yes good morning beta in the last class we were we were doing revision of circle chapter so let's continue with the revision we have discussed first theorem of the chapter that in a circle if two equal chords are there then two equal chords subtend equal angle at the center and the converse is also true you will do the proof of the first theorem that we have dis already discussed in the last class and the converse of the next it's con converse is you don't have to do the proof you have to just learn the statement whatsoever results are there you will learn them and you will apply them in the questions converse is if angles subtended by the chords at the center are equal then the chords must be equal in length chords equal hai to angle at the center equal honge and if the angles subtended at the center are equal then chords must be equal in length got it next theorem is third theorem the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord so this in this what you will do you will draw a chord no need of the proof but you have to just understand the concept if a chord is there the center is there the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord means ac and bc both will be equal got it and converse is also true the line drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord then it must be perpendicular to the chord to aapko agar ye already ye given hai to oc kya hoga it must be perpendicular on ab agar equal agar perpendicular hai to bisect karega aur bisect kar raha hai that means it must be perpendicular to the chord got it now we have next result next result is if one point is there you can draw infinite many circles from this point infinite number of circles can be drawn from one point and if two points are there so from these two point also you can draw infinite many circles okay so infinite number of circles can be drawn from one point or two point but if three points are there and they are collinear then no circle can be drawn and if the points are non collinear then one circle can be drawn the method is you will join these two lines you will make perpendicular bisector of this line you will make perpendicular bisector of this line and wherever these two points are intersecting this will give you the center o and this is the radius so you will draw a circle that will pass through these three points so this is the example also it is given a theorem is also there on the name of this one and only one circle can be drawn through the three given points and the same example is also given that is on page number 176 given an arc if instead of three points you have given an arc the solution is same but the question can come in three ways one and only one circle can be drawn from three non collinear points so the solution is this example is if a arc is given then find draw the circle if three points uh, sorry given an arc complete the circle then what you will do you will take three points on this you will join them you will make perpendicular bisector of this you will make perpendicular bisector of this and this center point will have equal distance from all the three point and you will open the compass of this much radius wait let me bring compass wait so what you will do you will you will take compass and you will open the compass of this much radius and you will complete the circle in this manner 
एक्चुअली आई हैव टेकन अ थ्री आई हैव टेकन थ्री पॉइंट विदाउट एनी मेजरमेंट एक्चुअली आर्क आई हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन फ्री हैंड तो यू विल हैव द सर्कल लाइक दिस so if arc is given what you will do you will take three points on the given arc you will join them two chords will be there you will make perpendicular bisector of each chord and the center you will get and that center has equal distance from all the three points that you will consider as your radius and you will draw the circle you will complete the circle whose arc is already given to you and the same proof is also there the same solution is also there if you consider exercise 10.3 question number 2 suppose you are given a circle give a construction to find its center ek circle given hai that you have already drawn using any circular object but the center is not given yes keep this thing in mind you are not going to use compass here for making the circle if you are using uh, compass then center is already there with you actually aapko kya karna you will draw a circle with any circular object you will mark three points anywhere on the circle and you will follow uh, the same step as we have done here to find the center this is a circle you will draw the circle using any circular object you can draw small circle big circle depending upon the circular object that you are having so you will mark three points here you will join them you will find the point perpendicular bisector of this you will make the perpendicular bisector of this this is your center and you will consider this as radius and you will complete the circle okay so three questions i have already told you one is example number 1 another is the theorem 10.5 and Exercise ten point three question number two. All having same solution. Is it okay? Is it okay, beta? Now, in exercise ten point three, third question is there. First, me. I have made different pair of circle. But I have those have different points of common common points that I can discuss. It's very easy. आपने बताना है कि इफ यू आर मेकिंग अ डिफरेंट पेयर ऑफ सर्कल देन व्हाट आर देयर कॉमन पॉइंट्स इफ यू ड्रॉ द सर्कल लाइक दिस दे हैव नो पॉइंट कॉमन इफ यू आर मेकिंग द सर्कल लाइक दिस दे डोंट हैव एनी पॉइंट कॉमन इफ यू ड्रॉ द सर्कल लाइक दिस इट हैज वन पॉइंट कॉमन इफ यू ड्रॉ द सर्कल लाइक दिस इट विल हैव वन पॉइंट कॉमन okay so these two pairs have no point common these two pair have one point common and these two circles have two point common common got it so i have given you five different example in which there is zero point common one point common and two point common is it clear now you all please go through question number 3 and try to find the solution i am giving you one minute please read it out and tell me the suitable answer yes third question in the third question you have given two circles and these two circles are intersecting each other at two points what you have to do is you have to prove that the line segment joining the center of the two circle is perpendicular bisector of the common chord means the line segment joining o and o dash is the is dividing this line ab in dividing this line into two part means ac is equal to bc and it is also the perpendicular to the line ab so that means this you want to show as 90 degree got it so what you will do you will join the centers you will get these two bigger triangles got it now what you will do you will take these two triangle aoo dash and boo dash and you will prove them as congruent how you will prove them as congruent this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side because they are because they are radii of the same circle and this o o o dash o o dash is common 
So by triple S, these two triangles are congruent. So by CPCT, can we say that? Can we say that this angle one is equal to angle two? Can we say that these two angle one and two are equal? If these one and two are equal, then what will happen? Can we consider these two triangle AOC and BOC? If you consider these two small triangles, then what will happen? These two are equal. Angle one is equal to angle two. OC is equal to OC. So by side angle side, these two small triangles are congruent by SAS. Then can we say that AC is equal to BC and angle three is equal to angle four? Angle three is equal to angle four, and three and four are making linear pair, so each will be ninety. Please read it out once again and try to write the solution. And you all are going to send the pick of the solution in the match group. Hurry up! I am waiting. Yes. Anyone who can explain this solution again? Nobody is there in the class. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, beta. <coughs> ma'am, uh, we are given that uh, oh, uh, two uh, circles are there and they intersect at two points, and uh, we will join AB, and then we will join the radius of uh, both the circles to uh, line A and B. Hmm. Then we will consider two triangles. O A and O dash and triangle O B O dash. Yes. Then then we will prove it congruent. Hmm. Then we will prove it congruent by S S S uh, congruent criteria. The, hmm. uh, then the two uh, angles angle one and angle two will be equal by C P C T. Then we will take two triangles O uh, A O C and B O C. Then we, then we will prove them. Uh, Uh, congruent again by SAS criteria, and then uh, angle three and angle four will be equal by CPCT. Angle, which angle are equal? Three and four. Three and four. And one more thing, we we will get from CPCT. AC, AC yes. and BC. AC and BC are equal. So in this way, you can show that O O dash is a perpendicular bisector of the common chord AB. Is it okay? Is it okay? Now, let's start with the another result that is very very important. If a circle is there and it has two equal chords, then equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. Equal chords of a circle like AB and CD are two chords. Actually, the proof is not there. in the syllabus but i have discussed so i am discussing it once again why i am discussing because it will make the things more clear theek hai aap proof karo ya na karo lekin aapko aana chahiye zarur aapne center point liya this is the center o we have drawn two perpendicular actually the main thing is in this question we are making two perpendicular by construction okay so this is your m this is your n so we have drawn two perpendiculars om And O N on A B and C D. So these are two perpendicular. Now what you will do? You will join them. You will get a two triangles here. These two are perpendicular. So angle M is equal to angle N, each ninety, and chords are equal. A B or C D equal. Hai. If A B is equal to C D, can we say that half of these chords are also equal? So can I write MB is equal to NC? Half of the chords are also equal, and OB is equal to OC. Why? These are the radii. OB is equal to OC radii. So by right hypotenuse side, two triangles are congruent. Right hypotenuse side, two triangles are congruent. Okay. So these two triangles will be congruent. So by CPCT, can we say that OM is equal to ON? So the chords which are equal in length are at equal distance from the center. 
equal chords are equidistant from the center and the converse is also true if two chords are equidistant from the center then chords must be equal in length then chords must be equal in length yes you all please read out the statement number 10.6 and 10.7 theorem number 10.6 and 10.7 this result we have just discussed please read it out because you have to use these results in the question again and again so i want you to learn the results side by side okay after doing this chapter from ncert book we will do extra question that are concept based from the latest sample paper that i have just received from cbsc okay so please revise this chapter side by side so that we can see extra question after this please read out 10.6 and 10.7 <clears throat> any doubt anything you want to ask here okay if no doubt is there then you can start example number 2 please read it out this we have already discussed when we discussed the chapter so please read it out example number 2 i will discuss it after one minute hurry up you please read it out and try to make the figure at your own Yes. Example number two. If two intersecting chords of a circle makes equal angle with the diameter passes through the point of intersection, prove that chords are equal. We have just discussed theorem number ten point six. Equal chords of a circle are equidistant from center. अभी आपने इस क्वेश्चन में शो करना है कि chords are equal. और अभी हमने थ्योरम 10.6 करी है कि इक्वल कॉर्ड्स आर इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम द सेंटर और उसका कन्वर्स क्या किया है टू कॉर्ड्स आर इक्वल इफ दे हैव सेम परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सेंटर तो अब अपने इस क्वेश्चन में आपके पास क्या है आपने ये शो करना है कि ए बी और सी डी इक्वल है टू कॉर्ड्स इक्वल है अगर आप ये शो कर दो कि इनका ये जो परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस है ये सेम है ओ एल और ओ एम सेम है तो हम कह सकते हैं कॉर्ड्स विच आर एट इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सेंटर आर इक्वल इन लेंथ तो आपने ये शो करना है आपने कन्वर्स के थ्रू करना है कि अगर उनका परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सेम है तो कॉर्ड्स क्या होंगी इक्वल होंगी ठीक है तो हम क्या करेंगे वी विल कंसीडर दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स एंड वी विल मेक देम कॉन्ग्रेंट आफ्टर कॉन्ग्रेंसी यू विल राइट ओ एल इज इक्वल टू ओ एम बाई सी पी सी टी नाउ actually in the construction you will draw these two perpendicular so can i say that angle l is equal to angle m each 90 oe is equal to oe common okay and next thing is what you will take next yes these two angles are equal that is given in the question so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 So can I say angle angle side by AES congruency these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, so can I say OL is equal to OM by CPCT? So the chords which are at equal distance from the center must be equal in length. Got it? So this was your example number two in the book. different method as well as difficult method is given but the method that we have just discussed is much more easier than the method given in the book okay so go for this method and if you want to note it down you can note down this method on your book okay so i am giving you minute note it down 10.4 exercise question number 1 two circles are given of radius 5 and 3 they intersect each other at two points and the distance between their centers is 4 find the length of the common chord yes who can explain this question anyone 
yes listen two circles are there you have to be very careful while making the figure of this question two centers are there they are having 4 cm distance between them ek ka center o hai ek ka p hai is center se jo circle ban raha hai wo 5 cm ka hai theek hai ये क्लियर है आपको इस सेंटर से जो सर्कल बन रहा है इसका रेडियस फाइव है ये फोर था तो मैंने फाइव सेंटीमीटर का सर्कल बना दिया और जो पी सेंटर से सर्कल बन रहा है दैट इज ऑफ थ्री तो वो ऐसे बनेगा ओके सो वी हैव टू सर्कल्स वन इज ऑफ सेंटर फाइव रेडियस फाइव एंड अनदर इज ऑफ रेडियस थ्री नाउ वॉट यू विल डू इज ये आपके पास P है दिस इज फोर जो दोनों के रेडियस सेंटर का जो डिस्टेंस है वो फोर है इफ आई ज्वाइन दिस दिस विल बी फाइव बिकॉज इट इज अ रेडियस ऑफ द बिगर सर्कल एंड द स्मॉल वन इज दिस दैट इज द रेडियस ऑफ द स्मॉल सर्कल कैन यू सी दैट दीज थ्री आर सेटिस्फाइंग आर पाइथागोरस थियोरम these three sides are satisfying our our pythagoras theorem so these three side must be making a right angle triangle so this must be 90 can you recall the theorem which result we are going to apply here the line drawn from the center of the circle to the chord if it is perpendicular then it must bisect the chord i can repeat the uh, proper result the perpendicular drawn from the ye perpendicular hai na the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord to so, ye perpendicular hai to first result hai ye aapka theorem number 10.3 uska converse nahi hai 10.3 hai the ye perpendicular hai the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord to so, iska matlab ye half portion and this half portion must be equal if this is 3 then this is also 3 then the complete length of the common chord will be 6 is it clear bachche i suggest you to make the figure of this question from the construction material if you make the figure from the construction material you will get exact figure and everything will be clear to you so today you are going to make the exact figure correct figure from with the help of construction material okay now please read out the next question number 2 10.4 Read out. Yes. Question number two. If two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle, prove that the line segment of the one chord are equal to the corresponding segment of the other chord. आपके पास सर्कल है देर आर टू कॉर्ड्स एंड बोथ द कॉर्ड्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग विद इन द सर्कल ओके बोथ द कॉर्ड्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग विद इन द सर्कल एंड द सेंटर इज ओ वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो दैट ए बी सी डी एंड दिस इज ई we have to show that ae is equal to ed and be is equal to ce be is equal to ce this we need to show okay so we want to show this thing that they are equal what you will do actually these are two equal chords and we know the theorem equal chords are always equidistant from the center तो इनका जो ये परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस है जो आपने दो परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉ करने हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन में ये क्या होंगे इन दोनों की लेंथ क्या होगी इक्वल होगी इन दोनों की लेंथ क्या होगी इक्वल होगी बाय द थ्योरम तो आपके पास यहां पे आ गया ओ एम 
इज इक्वल टू ओ एन ये आ गया आपके पास ओ ई इज इक्वल टू ओ ई आ गया कॉमन ये परपेंडिकुलर आपने कंस्ट्रक्शन में ड्रॉ करने हैं एंड एंगल एम इज इक्वल टू एंगल एन एंगल एम इज इक्वल टू एंगल एन ईच नाइनटी वॉट इट सो दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेन बाय आर एच एस राइट हाईपोटिन्यूज साइड राइट हाईपोटिन्यूज साइड got it so these two triangles are congruent so can we say that me is equal to ne by cpct can we say this these two are equal and now listen you know that the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord to so, aapke paas am or ये परपेंडिकुलर जो बनाया है एक्चुअली फिगर का ये सेंटर में नहीं आ रहा वैसे सेंटर में आना चाहिए था ठीक है बट आपको नेम से तो पता है ना कि ओ एम जो है वो ए बी पे क्या है परपेंडिकुलर और ओ एन जो है वो बी सी पे सी डी पे क्या है परपेंडिकुलर तो ए बी और सी डी क्या है इक्वल तो दोनों का हाफ भी क्या होगा इक्वल होगा ठीक है दोनों का हाफ करके ये कॉमन पोर्शन उसमें एड कर दो आपके पास फर्स्ट सेगमेंट और सेक फर्स्ट सेगमेंट आ जाएगी सेकेंड वी विल डिस्कस टूमोरो